this video, the Center for E-Learning, Didactics and Educational Research at the University of Veterinary Medicine Hanover will demonstrate how to carry out the subcutaneous injection in snakes. Only one of the correct methods to perform this skill is shown here. Needed for this skill lab exercise are a disposal container, a kidney dish, disposable gloves, the injection solution, a 1 ml syringe, a water-resistant marker, a grey or black cannula, gauze swabs, and the simulator. An example for the dosage calculation for the subcutaneous injection in snakes is given here. The formula to calculate the needed volume of compound in milliliters is body weight in kilograms times the dosage in milligrams per kilogram divided by the concentration in milligrams per milliliter. Imagine the following situation. You're an intern in an exotic animal clinic you are presented with a 150 gram snake who has a skin wound. To provide pain relief, you plan on using Metacam, active ingredient Meloxicam, with a concentration of two milligrams per milliliter. The recommended dosage is 0.1 milligrams per kilogram. For the calculation, we multiply the body weight, 0.15 kilograms, with the dosage, 0.1 milligram per kilogram, divided by the concentration of two milligrams per milliliter. This leaves us with a needed volume of metacam of 0.0075 milliliters. To this, we additionally add 0.05 milliliters to compensate for the dead volume of the cannula. In total, we require 0.0575 milliliters of metacam for the injection into the snake. Note, a maximum of only one milliliter can be injected into the snake simulator subcutaneously. First, all the needed materials are placed within reach. The medication is drawn up in advance, and a fitting cannula is placed onto the syringe. Each medication, which will be applied subcutaneously, should be able to be injected easily. The air is pressed out of the cannula. Each syringe is labeled with the name and volume of the solution. The person applying the injection should be wearing gloves. When working with a live patient, the snake should be fixated in a hanging position by a gloved assistant. For this, the head of the snake is held with two or three fingers behind the branches of the lower jaw. The second hand is used to fixate the snake's body. Furthermore, the one person per one meter snake rule should be followed to properly support and fixate the snake. The longer the snake, the more people are needed to properly hold it. When working with the simulator, no fixation by an assistant is required. The subcutaneous injection on a snake is done laterally, in the cranial to middle third of the body. The body of the snake is fixated with the thumb and index or middle finger of the non-dominant hand. The dominant hand holds the prepared syringe by the cannula hub. To minimize the chance of harm by the patient recoiling, it is wise to always puncture in a cranial direction. A shallow angle of 30 to 45 degrees should be used to puncture the skin underneath the scale. The cannula's bevel should be pointing away from the patient. A proper puncture with a cannula can be tested with the index finger of the non-ejecting hand. The cannula should be slightly movable and palpable. The cannula is then fixated on the hub and the syringe is aspirated. If blood can be seen within the hub, a new injection site must be chosen. If air can be aspirated, then the cannula has punctured through the skin. Note: When using a simulator, air is always aspirated. With the cannula in the correct position, the hub is fixated and the injection solution can be applied. Both syringe and cannula are then removed. A light compression with a gauze swab on the puncture site prevents the injection solution from exiting the patient. The cannula is disposed of in the proper container, the syringe in the bin.